Hi, this is a how to in wilderness survival gear. First of all, I re recommend a course like this. Um, this is given in management school for a desert survival situation. Um, they have one of these for subarctic survival situation, um, jungle survival. Uh, these courses are often followed by practical situations. They're intended for management uh, in group theory. Um, in group theory, the errors of a situation are minimized to uh, actualize the, the survival um, transcendence out of a situation. The first thing I'd like to go over is what you're going to be doing with something like this, okay? Um, everyone's seen this. This is a keychain, okay? Never would you use this with this, all right? This looks strong, but this also. Okay, this is a keychain. You're not going to put these two together and do anything useful. This is what you're going to be using. All right. You have a few of these, and you have a few of these in your backpack. Um, maybe you're not even scaling mountains. Uh, if you ever need to rely on something like this, you're also going to want to tie the right knots. Okay, and you're also going to want the right rope. If you're going to scale some mountains, that's not an emergency situation. You're talking about a whole other level of mountaineering capabilities. But uh, for getting yourself out of situations, um, make sure you have the right equipment, you tie the right knots, and you use these things correctly. Okay, you're not going to want to use these. Okay, okay, I'm going to show you a knot that you can use if you need to do this in a hurry. Um, you've got an end of rope, you don't know where the other end of the rope is. Okay. Called a clove hitch. The carabiner goes in there, right? The tighter this pulls, the tighter that's going to be. All right, quick and easy. Um, can you rely on this? Um, there's a couple of things you need to address. Is the rope rated for what you're doing? And would you want to use a more complicated knot, such as a bowline? Um, if you're falling off a cliff, you're in a cave, um, and you're you've got limited time, uh, and you have to make that knot. You have to do it now. You're you're in a you're go going down a river. Your your, your raft starts to sink. Um, this this could save your life. Um, if you screw it up, you've only got one chance. Uh, you're not going to make it. Okay, that's a clove hitch on a carabiner. It's more complicated knots. Um, a clove hitch like this could be undone. The good thing about any knot is it could be undone like this. The clove hitch you could you could tie a, a boat to a pier. Okay, with the clove hitch. It's the first knot you learn in Boy Scouts. So it could be the only knot you'll ever need to know in your life. Let's say you're camping or you're, you're adventuring uh, up to a certain point. You probably need to know some more uh, uh, advanced, extensive knots.
Okay, here we're gonna tie a bowline knot, okay? That's the knot of choice, okay, and the clovage. Um, when you're attaching this bowline to this, to some of these, right, objects, if you're not careful, you're going to fall, right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fall to your next cleat if you can't do this right, right. Um, you got to be able to, you know, you can't fumble around. You, you can't mess around with this. You got to do it right. Okay, here is um, some mosquito netting. You can see that it's held up over the sleeping bag. And there's my backpacker's chair. And here's the lantern. Going full bore, waiting for the darkness. Protected from the mosquitoes. <laughs>